Previously on the HUD bar induced torture simulator. Grass is going down, thirst is going down. I'm still slow. This is bad. I this event sucks. Oh my god. Stone. Ah! Everything. Oh my god. It will help your bones or something like that. Ah! Yeah. Well, I'll take my vengeance on Duke Fish Run. Mark my words. Okay, here we are. I need more souls of light and night if I'm going to be uh, making the summons for the other mechs. The main thing is I want to have Plantera as my end goal for today. I want to be Destroyer, Skeletron Prime, Plantera, and Fishron. Not not exactly in that order. Oh, there's another Truffle Worm. I don't care. Oh yeah, and also, now that I've defeated the Twins, it is now possible for Life Fruits to start spawning in the jungle. And that also unlocks another permanent upgrade at the Shimmer. I really want to get the Daedalus Stormbow. So I'm going to fight another Hallowed Mimic. I mean, with Uzi and Hallowed, or uh, with Uzi and Iker Bullets, they just get shredded. And there's the Stormbow. Sick. That will be a major game changer for uh, for Destroyer. I'm gonna go quickly peruse the jungle a little bit just to see if I can get any life fruits. Take this, Derpling. Oh gosh, turtle coming in. Doesn't look like there's anything here yet. Might have to actually give it some downtime to generate. Ah, my uh, my old stomping ground here. <laughs> stomping ground where I fought and died to, uh, to fish run several times. I'm not gonna say many times. Admittedly, I didn't do like a super ton of uh, attempts. I took a few cracks at it and it didn't it didn't go great. Made for a good montage though. Yeah, just a nice chill start. I feel like it's warranted after last time. <laughs> Hello seagulls. How goes things, lads? They are walking over to observe what I am doing. So I think probably what I'm going to want for destroyer is Daedalus comboed with Holy Arrows is usually the good call. I need to grind the materials for Holy Arrows, though. Jeez, I don't have any pylons near the near the dungeon. Okay, I'm gonna have to run my way over there then. I'm gonna go get those uh, bones that I need for the mechanical skull. Why do I have so many different platforms in my inventory still? Just get rid of them. Why is my temperature bar stuck in, like, limbo? No, that's okay. It's not going down. It looks like it's just stuck. Let's open this up. Handgun. Well, that would have been nice to have if I had found- it was godly as well. Dang, I really missed out on some good stuff by not spending more time here or coming back. So, I'm probably just gonna use the Uzi, especially since it's already unreal, uh, to fight Fishron again. What is down here? Savory regrowth. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Yes, let's make the worm and the skull. Okay, so it's 200 arrows and then three pixie dust and a unicorn horn. Okay. That is actually really cheap for just like a lot of, a lot of holy arrows. The Uzi is a little bit inaccurate, so if I get chlorophyte bullets, that'll be able to rectify all that. Also, my aim isn't that great as has been shown previously in the series. <laughs> Am I really gonna need more than a thousand holy arrows? I might see if I can take out Destroyer and Prime in one night. Oh, you need 10 jungle spores and 50 chlorophyte. Okay, that's actually a pretty reasonable price for it. Plantera should hopefully be made quite a bit easier if I beat Fishron first. I remember on Too Many Bars 1, the first video that I made, uh, the creator of the mod, Vervain, made a comment and told me that I would have to be really creative when it comes to beating Plantera. So my idea of a creative solution is to fight Fishron first. <laughs> that is assuming, of course, that I can beat Fishron. Do I want to use my Ocean Arena to fight Destroyer? That probably work. He's probably going to kill my, my NPCs over there, but... Okay, uh, let's go take a crack at Destroyer. Here we go. Okay, it does use quite a bit more exhaustion, unfortunately. Just make sure I'm not running too low on anything, notably health. Oh gosh, definitely don't get hit by his head. That one's gonna hurt. Why is there a possessed armor here? Okay, he's about halfway dead. This feels possible. Surprise, none of my ocean NPCs have died yet. Get him. Okay, 4,000. It's looking good. Got him. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm feeling bold. Let's fight. Let's fight Prime too. Is it Prime time? I think it's Prime time. Here we go. Okay, Prime is gonna be really, really easy, I think. He's only got 28,000 on his head. That is nothing. Watch out, he's coming in hot. This is easy to dodge. You are trivial. So I got two and a half minutes. That's more than enough time. Get him, fire. 700. 
Got him. Very good. That's all the mechs. Just that easy. Do I have enough hallowed to make the whole set? I mean, obviously pickaxe axes, right? Okay, I have 54. Don't, isn't that how much I need to make the full set? Yeah, I need 54 for the whole set. So if I make the armor set, I won't be able to make the pickaxe axe. Here's what I think. I think I make the hallowed armor set since I have exactly enough hallowed bars to make it. And then I fight the twins again next night. And then I make the pickaxe axe. And then I go start collecting chlorophyll. Chlor chlorophyte, sorry. Now hallowed. Hallowed has the really good set bonus, which gives you immunity after hitting an enemy. <laughs> Take my titanium armor. I know I spent so long getting that and used it for three boss fights. But, well, technically four because I did try fighting fish on it. just didn't work. Into... La jungla. Should I fight Queen Bee for fun? Her boom. Oh, okay. That summoned that summoned her right away. And she's dead. Ouch. I'm getting beaten up. Well, I defeated Queen Bee. That was incredibly anticlimactic. I've been going for less than an hour and I've already killed three bosses. <laughs> I mean, I really want life fruit, but I kind of need to wait for that to gen. So I think honestly the best call is probably just to sleep until night rolls in. That way I can fight twins again and get the pickaxe axe. It's too much for me to focus on if I do the switching thing where I have Chlorophyte and Iker in my ammo slot and then I swap them mid fight. So I'm just gonna use Chlorophyte to basically make it so I don't have to aim. Yeah, I've got Hallowed now, so pretty good. Gives pretty good defense, gives pretty good stats and it's got a great set bonus. It'll probably be my armor set of choice for Fishron as well, just because that invincibility set bonus is super duper good and will probably be instrumental in me being able to kill him. I don't actually have access to the Daybloom one because that requires me to kill King Slime and no, I'm not fighting King Slime. All right, let's fight twins again. And also these two are gonna be a way better summon than the Imps for Fishron because I'm, or than the Imp for Fishron because I'm pretty sure that when I was fighting Fishron, I'm pretty sure that the Imp basically never attacked. I mean, granted I forgot to resummon it after I died sometimes, but even when I did have it, it like, just never attacked him. It was so stupid. Okay, I think that's enough hallowed to make a to make a pickaxe axe, right? Is it seriously not? Okay, I'm gonna fight the twins again. I think it needs 18 and they dropped 17. Is that right? Rip. Rip the buff and let's go again. Got him. That is definitely enough. Okay, that time you dropped 30? Okay. Oh, it got legendary? Sick. So let's put truffle bait back in my hotbar because he, he is next. <laughs> he is the next one I want to fight in progression. Uh, now we're going to go down and I just need to pick up a bewitching table and an alchemy table would be helpful too. Oh, there's a bewitching table. Okay. Oh, alchemy table. Good. The jungle bar is needy, man. It's needy. I got 70 chlorophyte ore. That's definitely enough to make some bars. Yes, yeah, so getting shroomite armor will be really good. I'm gonna need to make a artificial mushroom biome on the surface to get the truffle. It shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I think the main chlorophyte thing I'm actually gonna want to make is just gonna be bullets, no? Yeah, I'm just gonna build a artificial mushroom biome up here. I'm probably gonna need to spend some time farming glowing mushrooms too just to get enough shroomite for full armor. I was thinking is I could probably also flatten the ground out here. I know I'm I know I'm wrecking my my water pool here, but I have an idea. Okay, that is a tiny bit. <laughs> this is gonna take this is gonna take a while. Yeah, this is still gonna take a hot minute to fill up. Why is it slime raining again? Oh my god, I am going underground. Forget this. Nope, I'm waiting it out. You know what? I'm going to grab my bed from the beach and I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna sleep it away. Okay, slime has stopped. Uh, so I probably really need to deal with the, and like address the crimson coming in on my on my right side here. There's a lot of fireflies. Okay, one of them just got deleted. I'm gonna take a bit of a reprieve from what I'm doing here, and I'm going to go check out the jungle, see if there's anything worthwhile to pick up here, like life fruits. I don't see anything. Am I being lied to? Is there, an, is there no life fruit here? Can you direct me to it? Do, do you go to life fruits? Oh, it actually does. I see it now. <laughs> Blue fairy, you are so based. And you know what? I'm actually gonna bring this right to the shimmer to make the, I think it's the Aegis fruit is the perm upgrade. And we will go ahead. Wait, there's an enchanted sword right here? I was there the whole time. There we go. Aegis fruit. Permanently increases defense. Oh, that's actually super good. Why is there a Medusa down here. Oh my god, I got Medusa's head. What? <laughs> okay, now I get that literally first try when I'm not playing mage. I'm gonna want to get up to 500 if I can, especially before I go tackle fish run again. Be quick. Got it. 405. The first of the life fruit actually used for life. Uh, there it is. 
Plantera's bud. So this lets me summon Plantera. Speed and efficiency is the name of the game here. Oh, there it is. There's the life root. Found it. It's time to go crazy mode. I'm getting the Clara fight. Because I need those bullets. They make it so I don't have to aim. It's so good. I mean, okay, I still kind of I still kind of have to aim. I still have to sort of point in the monster's general direction, but that is it. And then the bullets will do the rest. <laughs> oh, it's right here. That's number three towards my health. Let me go ahead and make some chlorophyte bullets. Okay, that's pretty good. I want to try and get up to 500 before I even think about going back and tackling fish run again. Because I've got almost everything else I need. I've got hallowed armor. I might want to try and get anklet of the wind for some much needed uh, speed upgrade to get lightning boots. I still got Uzi. It's unreal, so that's good. And then I've got chlorophyte bullets, which are really helpful. Oh, there appears to be a mallard in my in my pool of water here. No, you're you're joking. R wh what? I've literally never gotten this item before. That is wild. It was just right down here, seriously? I mean, I don't remember what size I made this world, so I either made it medium or large, which means there's either six or nine uh, dirtiest blocks in the world. But yeah, look, now my best friend is a block of dirt. I may have overdone this one a little bit. This would definitely be a lot easier if I did have the endless water bucket. It would also be a lot easier if I didn't have to deal with an exhaustion bar the entire time. Last one and then we're all good here. I'm currently drowning a grasshopper. This is what my life has come to. Okay, finally finish that up. Yeah, this is fine for a start. Yeah, now that I've finished placing all that water, geez, that took forever. We got a nice arena coming along. Now I know I already built one for the um for the beach, but I kind of wanted to have one that was a bit more cent centralized, I guess. Let's look for life fruit, more chlorophyte. Hopefully some has grown, especially with how long it took me to build that part of the arena. I've given it some time to come in here. Got it. Can always go fishing in this water pool right down here to try and get jungle crates. I just that feels like it'd be less efficient. Oh, jeez. Can I got jump scared by that anguish? Oh, wait. Oh, it was right there. <laughs> jeez. Okay, I'm just blind as it turns out. Why does that have a band of regen in it? That's not ivy chest loot. Oh, Plantera bulb down there. Okay. It's like, hey, you ready to fight Plantera? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Admittedly, it's just kind of a life fruit grind now. I'm a fifth of the way there, so... No, not a fifth. Uh, sorry, quarter of the way there. Sorry. Math, am I right? Oh, that, there it is. I see it. That's six towards my health. I don't necessarily need to go to max for fish run. I just feel like, just feel like I want to maximize my chances of victory there. If it's too long waiting on life fruit Steven spawn, then I can bite the bullet and take a crack at him. Okay, there's another one. Oh, it's down there. I see it. Can I get down to it in time? Yep, I can. Cool. I gotta get more life fruit. I gotta get my life expectancy up. Ow. Oh my God. Jesus, these things do damage. These things do more damage than fish run. Okay, another for the count. Gotta be careful so I don't get killed by the enemies. Gotta be quick so I don't get killed by the jungle bar. Got it. All right. Solar Eclipse, really? Okay. There is some good stuff that can be gotten, so I'll, I'll go with it. I'm gonna try on my chlorophyte bullets. Oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna be so good, dude. What is that? Oh, is that a painting? Oh, I got a painting from you too? There he goes. Why do you drop a painting too? Everything's dropping paintings. Yeah. I got another, another painting. Doing all right. Is there another painting on the ground? That's another, there's a second midnight sun. I don't know why everything's dropping paintings. Yes! Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking would be good to get. Because Neptune's shell help with the issue that I was having where I can't move fast in water. There we go. Now I'm nice and quick in the water. Oh, but thirst doesn't go up when I have it on. Oh, god dang it. Unless I'm also drowning, I don't get thirst. Okay. Oh, I got another Neptune shell. Okay, you just wanted to rub it in after I figured out that it's not actually a good option. Did you open the door, guide? Why did you do that? I hate you. Bearing that in mind, I'm glad you got killed. Because <laughs> at least I'm still alive. Okay, it's night now. So Eclipse is over. If you're living in this one, then why are you... Okay. <laughs> you know what? It's fine, Clothier. You're the only person living in those houses now, so whatever. Let's see if there's any life fruit. Oh, yep, there's one. Good. I think it's down. Yeah, it's down. Here it is. 460. Okay. There we go. All right, we got more houses there now. Cool. Okay, I got the truffle. Good. Oh, I see it. Okay. 
Found out jungle bars running out again. All right, steam bunkers here too. Okay, how much more asphalt can I make now? I can make 33. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, it is going to take quite a bit of asphalt to do the whole thing. But yeah, look, I can move through the water very quickly like that. A little bit more chlorophyte. Another couple of life fruit would be good. We're, we're, we're slowly inching closer towards 500. And then once I hit 500 health, I'm probably going to try and go for fish run. And the only way I'm going to know if I'll be able to beat fish run this time is if I try. I got a jungle key? Really? <laughs> I guess we can get the piranha gun if we want. That was a wild thing to get. Yeah, because that's one in 2,500. Blink root. I would like some blink root if I can get some blink root. I don't see any blink root. Well, we'll see if my blink root survives another spelunker potion. Yes. Man, this is a really resilient blink root. <laughs> okay, there's a plantera bulb too. 500 just, it seems so close and yet still so far away because it's, it's just so not, I'm gonna find life fruit very quickly. Goodness, thirst is going down. Life fruit right here. And there it goes. Okay, it finally, it made its last spelunker potion. Okay, I found it. Jungle's close to running out. Oh man, I wasn't paying attention to exhaustion. I almost want to try Duke Fish Run real quick. All right. Here we go. Still as fast as ever, I'm ready. Just so many little things about this fight make it so difficult. Thank you, Hallowed Invincibility. Lifesaver. Okay. I'm avoiding a lot more of the damage because of the hallowed set bonus. It's helping a lot. These that have just died. Oh, okay. Let's that one up a little bit. This is not ideal. Oh my god, why didn't I jump off? Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I got one of the things I wanted. Oh, I had to try hard so much there to even be able to beat that. Oh my god. I almost died to social. <laughs> that was such a long fight. Oh my god. Sorry, my, my mind's frazzled. Godly is pretty good. I'll, 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 I'll pick Godly. Godly's good. I honestly might be able to beat Plantera without Tsunami. I just I just don't want to fight Fishron again. That took so long and I got so close to dying so many times and that was so stressful. I'm wondering, do I even want to fight Plantera now? Because like, that's such a good ending here. Yeah, okay, you know what? You know what? I, I know I said I wanted to get to Plantera today. I ended up getting really absorbed with doing all this stuff, like trying to get health, which I haven't even gotten max health yet. I'm still at 485. I did a lot today. I did a lot. So that's a good place to stop. I conquered my main foe from last time. But yeah, there's one last thing. Now, I've actually got a bit of a surprise for this one last thing because I know exactly how many times I died today. Since I'm going to be cutting around this and you won't see everything, I'll show you here.
83. If you recall, my final death total at the end of last session was 82. I only died once today, and it was when I accidentally killed myself with a uh, magic mirror from exhaustion, which is insane that I was keeping it up that long, and the fact that I first tried every boss that I fought today. I think that's about where I'll call it, so next time, we're gonna at the very least beat Plantera, and we might even finish the challenge. Until next time, Take care, everybody.